This video is for section 10.3. Uh, it talks about adding, subtracting, and multiplying um, radical binomials. Okay, so the first thing is, in order to add and subtract, we have to have common radicands. And remember, the radicands are the parts inside of the radicals. Whenever I'm given an addition or subtraction problem, I think of these two steps. Step one, as I mentioned in class, step one, simplify. Step two, add or subtract. And again, I can only add and subtract when the radicands are the same. So for instance, in this first problem here, I noticed that we have a radicand of six and a radicand of six. So what that tells me is I know I can put those two together. I'm going to subtract their coefficients and leave the radical the same. I also notice I have a radical 3 and a radical 3, so I know I'm going to be able to combine those two as well. Negative 5 plus 6, radical 3. And then I simply do the computation or the arithmetic here. So 10 minus 4 would leave me with 6, radical 6. Negative 5 plus 6 would give me a positive 1, radical 3. Since these two radicands are not the same, I know I'm finished. There's nothing else I can do. I can just leave it like that. Take a look at this next one. We have 3 radical 12 plus 5 radical 75. The first thing that I need to do here is simplify the square root of 12 into parts that can be broken down. Remember that perfect squares technique. All right. Then I'm going to separate this 5 radical 75. Let's see. That would be 25 and 2. All right. I next take the square roots that I can. So I have 3 times 2 times radical 3 plus 5 times the square root of 25 is 5 times radical 2. That leaves me with 6 radical 3 plus 25 radical 2. Now, I can't add these two together because if you notice, oh, I made a mistake. That's why I can't add them together. All right, back here, 75 isn't 25 times 2. It's 25 times 3. So that would be 25 radical 3 here. Because these radicands are the same, I can add those two terms together, and I end up with 31 radical 3. Okay, now we have a multiplication here involving binomials. My recommendation any time that I am working with radicals, and by now you guys should know because we've been dealing with this for four weeks or so. Any time I'm going to deal with radicals, I always start off by simplifying. So 4 radical 20 is really 4 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, which would be the square root of 2, 4 is 2 times 4, 8 radical 5. The square root of 8 is really the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, or 2 radical 2. So the problem that I'm going to try to multiply together here is 3 radical 2 minus 2 radical 5 times 8 radical 5 plus 2 radical 2. Now, how do I multiply these two together? I simply follow the double distributive property or foiling. Either way is fine. They're the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is take 3 radical 2 times 8 radical 5, which will give me 24 radical 10. Outsides with outsides, insides with insides when we're multiplying. Now I'm going to take 3 radical 2 times 2 radical 2, and that gives me positive 6 radical 4, which recognize right away, I'm going to have to simplify that to 12. 6 radical 4 is the same as 6 times 2, or 12. Now I move on to the second term here. I have negative 2 radical 5 times 8 radical 5. That's going to be negative 16. Radical 25, which I know I'm going to have to simplify to negative 16 times 5, or negative 80. And then I have negative 2 radical 5 times positive 2 radical 2. That gives me negative 4 radical 10. 
I can't simplify that. All right, so let's simplify what we can now. I have 24 radical 10. The square root of 10, you can't break down. I have 6 times 2, or 12. I have negative 16 times 5, or negative 80. And then I have 4 radical 10. Can't simplify that any further. I know for addition and subtraction, if we have common radicands, I can put the coefficients together. So 24 minus 4 would give me 20 radical 10. And then 12 minus 80 would be negative 68. All right, hopefully this helps. Good luck. Come and see me if you have any questions.